Sebastian, you made it! All the way from Belgium! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see you! So how's it going? It's going pretty well. You know, I've been uh, renting this van and living in it and uh, so far so good. So what are you doing here anyways? I mean, well, I know what you're doing, but tell Serene and Simple Life audience. Well, that's a big question. Uh, I've been uh, following Linda for a few uh, months now. Years. Years almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it started in January 2019. Yes, uh -huh, at the RTR. So that's almost two years that we know each other. Yep. Can you imagine that? <laughs> imagine that. And we're still together after two years. Imagine that. And so it's the fourth time we meet. Yes. Fourth or fifth, yeah, because we I met. I just arrived five minutes ago. Okay. And now I'm packing my uh, camera. Okay. And we're going to see what's doable. For yeah. today. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I can't wait to get started. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. This is the rest area I stayed at last night. It's probably starting to look familiar to some of you. There's the big welcome to Tennessee sign. Welcoming Sebastian to America. And he brought me a little gift. I have no idea what's in it. We're gonna look at it together. I'm so excited. I was asking him if he uh, knew about love languages. Words of affirmation and spending time together, I think, are my number ones. And then after that, gifts. And gifts if I can't spend time with you. <laughs> because I cherish them. Look at this. Those are so cute. And the bag from Memphis. And then, I don't know what else is in here. <gasps> this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, with God, all things are possible. This is so beautiful. Sebastian, I love the gifts you picked out. Thank you. My pleasure. Sebastian doing his thing. He does not have time to talk to me right now. This is really cool. He's got like massive equipment mm -hmm. and it's fun and sometimes it's tedious. So we're getting uh, getting started here. He's actually uh, working on a documentary. We don't know if it'll come to fruition or not. So I'm going to interview him later today. Continue watching. Here's from a different vantage as Sebastian sets up his camera. He has actually put it on the front hood of Happy Haven too, making me extremely nervous and making me not responsible if anything happened. <laughs> we talk about that ahead of time. Yeah. So we did, we did some harder, more complicated setups. Yeah, so he's got all kinds of, uh, but I'm just giving you a little flavoring of what a filmmaker does. How long have you been a filmmaker? Oh, I'll ask you all these questions later. Well, in in our little. Uh, What's that? I can, I, I can explain you why, why you film. I guess I've been a filmmaker for the last uh, almost 20 years. 20 years? Yeah. Well, you don't look any more than 20, so I don't know about that. <laughs> hey, he's got a new plan now. <laughs> Woohoo! He's going to be filming me waking up and uh, the routine I do every single day. And I told him about, as you all know, my followers who've been watch with me a while, Probably 60-70% of my time is spent at rest areas, so this is authentic. Then I'm going to make a second cup of coffee like I do, and I'm going to whip up some breakfast. So he's trying, he's dealing with noise, light, uh, seeing me versus seeing the cook stove. <laughs> and uh, so I'll just let the professional take it away, even though I love to give advice. Sebastian's still in the thinking mode, right Sebastian? <laughs> and I'm trying to be quiet as best I can. We just filmed me making coffee again, which I do every single day, two cups, sometimes only one, but most of the time two. And then I put my makeup on, which eh, I probably do that 60% of the time, 70, if I'm working or 
going to be seeing people. I put my makeup on. If I'm traveling all day, usually I don't put makeup on. But now we're going to make breakfast and Sebastian has a GoPro, he has a camera, he has a tripod, he has other stuff that I have no idea what it is. And he's figuring it out while I entertain you. Awesome. A little bit more guys. That's the GoPro, right? Is that what that is, Sebastian? Yes, it is. Yeah, GoPro. Mm -hmm. Very stable, very nice images. Um, my tripod. Then I'm gonna see first of all if I see Hi, something. Sebastian. So I'm good for the cook, uh, the cooking scene. Okay, cool. All right. So what do we got here? We got your tripod. We got your regular camera. You want to tell the audience anything? And we have a GoPro. GoPro. Okay. What kind of camera do you use? Because I know they're gonna ask me. Sony Alpha 3. Okay, thanks Sebastian. Finished over there. And now I'm eating my breakfast. It's half gone. I was famished. <laughs> Scrambled egg thrown on top of a can of sliced potatoes. I don't know. Made a little piece of toast afterwards. Threw some jelly on it. Added bacon bits. This is a first. This is a first. And I may or may not do a little bit of work here. I don't know. I'm kind of tired right at the moment. Just tired of all the movement um, and different things that's been going on with filming. So, yeah, I can see why uh, movie stars make a ton of money. <laughs> it's a lot of work. So... There he is, following me around like a puppy dog. And it's a beautiful day. It's just lovely, lovely. The rain's coming in in a day or two. And we're gonna be heading on down the road to a park in a little while, so there you have hey, it. Hey, Sebastian, are we gonna chill now for a little bit? We are. Are we gonna still be intense? No, 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 it's, uh... no, no intense now? Time. So what are you doing here? Tell my tell my serene and simple life people what you are serene and simple doing. <laughs> well, I'm uh, actually uh, preparing my coffee, but uh, okay. right for the moment. But uh, in general, I'm making a movie. Okay. And I'm trying to follow where your journey brings uh, brings you. Awesome. Well, yeah, for right now, I was wondering, like, the details of what you're doing here. The coffee smells extremely strong. What are... <laughs> <laughs> it's not only the smell, it's... Yeah, it's and the, the taste. So, so what are you doing here? Uh, so I'm making uh, an espresso. Oh, okay. So that's an Italian uh, coffee machine. Okay. That I brought especially from Belgium. Oh, okay. And does that cost a lot? Or did you get that on Amazon? Or how, how, where, where does that come mm. from? Good question. Actually, it's my girlfriend who bought it. Okay. So it's I, I don't know, but you can easily find that on Amazon. I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. Okay. So for all you audience out there wondering, he has a girlfriend. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know they're gonna love hearing you talk. They hear me talk all day, and we all love your accent. Oh, yeah. So okay. So what do you do? Like you just put water and something in there? I don't. I have no clue. I make instant coffee. Remember? Yep. Oh, so it's quite simple. You have two levels uh -huh. so you put well here it's very warm so I won't be able to open it okay but uh, you unscrew the thing then you put some water till here and then above it there's a sort of receptacle where you can put the coffee okay and then you put this little receptacle inside this little thing oh here, gotcha and then you screw the last part which is this one and in fact when you heat okay the, the water is going to boil and go through the little, little receptacle where the coffee is and yeah. then the coffee is going to come out here. Okay. And then you have a beautiful, strong Italian coffee. Okay. All right. It's a very strong coffee, but it's very tasty. Okay. Well, I'm going to do some water because I've had my two and I'm just wound up as they can be. And you can get more wound up and let's talk. So I decided to head over to Edgar Evans State Park and Sebastian is with me. I've never seen this park before. 
So I'm gonna go doing a little exploring, although this is, I don't know, it's in like the high 50s and it's just not feeling like a hiking day to me. But uh, definitely a little scenic tour of this beautiful park and on in we go. So just driving into the park now. It is, so oh goodness, it's almost two o'clock. We've been with Sebastian since about 9.30 this morning. And uh, yes, he's been following me off and on. He, like he said, this is, I think, the third time we're together for a few days while he uh, documents and films this serene and simple life journey. I'm, uh, the park isn't too far from where the rest area was, so I thought it would be fun to come here. Maybe he wants to film me while I'm doing a video for my channel, for this channel. And we talk about sitting at a picnic table like I do. I have some uh, postcards that I wanna uh, send the Grand Sweet Peas a little bit of receipt book stuff and scheduling six or seven videos. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that at a picnic table today or not. I like picnic tables when it's warm. <laughs> I do have an extra layer on. Um, we're going to be here a couple days, going to be sharing with him some land that I have found, that potential land for a landing zone. And uh, let us, let me see what else. It's supposed to rain all day Wednesday, so he may film me while I sit inside Happy Haven. I'm not going to a library like I normally do because of, I don't know, all the rules and regulations and blah, blah, blah. I do have some work to do. I want to get some t-shirts made up for Christmas time, but I don't know if that'll happen or not go see do I'm not sure if that's gonna happen uh, he's already filmed me at a library before he wanted to film me inside McDonald's but I don't know of any McDonald's where there's um, seating open uh, we were at I was at one yes early on park office cabin check-in maybe we'll turn in here I'm waiting for him to get here and it's a beautiful park. So, show you around a little bit. I'm going to do the interview with him on a separate video. So this will be like two parts with Sebastian. From uh, Tennessee, we're gonna head to Savannah, Georgia, and then gonna head to Florida and got some exciting news when I get to Florida, so you'll just have to stay tuned for that. I'm going to text Sebastian that I'm here. He wanted to call his girlfriend, and there's a seven hour difference. And I think we need a little part, a time apart, like all people do. And then we're going to resume whether I'll make a picnic lunch later. I'm not hungry or uh, just explore around a little bit. I'm not quite sure what the rest of the day is gonna entail, so I'll let you know. Keep on following us, thanks. Hey Sebastian, it's been a blast today. <laughs> it was, it was the first nice, beautiful day. Awesome, and uh, so your subject cooperated pretty good with you? I think I'm quite uh, happy with you. Like go. <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. Well, I am too. It was a fun day. Uh, a little on the tired side now, but um, yeah, maybe you can just go enjoy this beautiful park and uh, your uh, young legs and just go out and get a hike in or something, huh? Exactly. I'm going to take advantage of, uh, I think there's a trail up, the, up there just to enjoy the nature. Oh, cool. It's silent and beautiful and beautiful colors as well. Mm -hmm. So you are... Do you have a, uh, a favorite state at all that you've been in? I mean, on this journey of with, you know, we've been to, in Arizona, Texas, and uh, here in Tennessee now together. 
Do you have a favorite uh, so far at all? Hmm. I mean, for the moment, I would say Arizona because I know Arizona better. Yes. Okay. And I spend more time there. And, yeah. Uh, and I really like the desert. Mm -hmm. But here, for the moment, I mean, I'm all, I've only been here for two days, so yeah, that's we'll true. See how it goes. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. There's all different parts of the country to fall in, I, to I, fall I, in love with. I like the wilderness, you know, and the and the forests and. The, I would love to camp if I had a chance. Okay, well, awesome. So, all right, well, we're gonna go check out some more things tomorrow together. Yep. We are partners on this journey of sorts. And uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, so I was thinking of something I wanted to say, but now I can't remember, so. All right, there's the view one more time, guys. This is the uh, peninsula view. I guess I really didn't show you this. But I am doing a separate video on the state park that you can watch as well. And all right. Oh, I know. Okay, so you're getting to see the states because of me. <laughs> so Sorry. one of these days... I'll get to see Belgium because of you. I hope so. But oh. I want to warn you, it's not as... I mean, we have some good space, but it's not as uh, big and... Uh, yeah. But at least I could come and eat some Belgian chocolates. How about that? Belgian chocolates? Yeah. Belgian waffles? Mmm. That, uh, that could be a good place. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, Sebastian, for all your hard work and for your professionalism. Well, I try my best. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Blessings in your day. Enjoying the journey.